This is a video on how to draw 3D shapes in 2D design. So what I've got here is got my A3 page, dots, uh, my grid is 10 millimeters apart currently, okay? So just a reminder, if you double click on the grid, you can make the spacing, you can change the spacing, two millimeters apart if you want to, if you click there, and you can see the dots are a lot, lot close together now on the page. So I'm just gonna draw a very quick square so just to show you so i might do it say um let's say 60 millimeters okay making sure it's on gridlock it'll always jump to the nearest dot i'm just going to do a very quick 60 millimeter so like so making sure that i drag that out it's the same just like that okay um, so now I want to, I've drawn that 60 millimeter square I like so. Now I want to make sure, I want to make turn this into a cube, okay? So a 3D cube. What you can do is if you go to select, I select the square I've just done. I go over to this option here called 3D effects. So I click on this like so. Now what is it saying? Start depth zero, finish depth, okay? Now what this is going to do, if you look here, it says 30 degrees. So anyone knows that's isometric, okay? So because I want it to be a cube, remember it's 60. If I change that to 60, click OK, click now, and there it is. There is a cube. So that's a very cool way of doing a very quick and easy way. And if I just go to delete the lines like so, now it's saying, oh, hang on a second, it's deleting all of it. So if I undo that, the problem is it's one part when it gets drawn. So I need to now select this, go up to the top, go to explode here, click explode, click continue, go to delete, then I can delete the individual lines. There's my cube, like so. It's got all those dots on it. I don't want to see those dots, okay? So go to select, go to the dots of the grid at the top here, click off that, and you might see that it's sort of, it's now like a, a dotted line, a checkered line. I don't want that anymore. So just select over top of it, click off it, and it just restores the line like that. So you can just get a very quick way of of seeing that, okay? So if you go to bound fill, go to fill, go to graduated, <clears throat> you can see it's got this uh, sort of shaded effect. Click okay, click okay, click, any islands, no. Any islands, no. Click, any islands, no. There you get a shaded uh, cube very, very quickly, okay? The other way of, of doing 3D, that's just a very quick and simple way of doing it there is if you go back to the grid, this time, double click on it, go down to isometric, 30 degrees, click OK. Uh, the spacing is a bit too far apart for my liking with this. So if I double click on here, go back to, I'm gonna go back to my 10 by 10 spacing, isometric, click OK. And then I now get isometric paper, which I can then make sure it's on grid lock. If you want to, rather than use the 3D effects tool, is you can draw it out manually if you would like. So you can just click, click, draw out, like so, very quickly. And you can count, obviously, but we know that they're 10 millimeters apart. So if you want to do it in the set size, that's not done accurately because I've just very quickly done it without counting. But again, you can use the, you can still use the double click 60 mil line if you want to like so, and then there it is. So you can see my cube's a little bit bigger than 60. Uh, another thing, I've, I've done this in a previous video, but if you go to uh, found fill, go to texture, you see I've preloaded a, a texture in here that looks like wood, okay? So this almost looks like ply, click okay. You can then make this look like a wooden cube if you want to that way as well. And you can play around with different uh, different options. That particular wood was just an image found on the internet of texture. So you could do that with metal, with anything like that. Save it to your images on your computer, load that up, watch the video on um, bound fill options, and then you can just make your cubes look any way you want to. Just as a, another little quick tip to show you is if you want to, I want to draw off this cube now, I want to attach something to the cube. So if I'm, you know, back, especially if gridlock's not on and I want to try and attach that corner accurately, I go over to this attach tool here, click that, then click the line and it will automatically attach. It will automatically join it up for me. So I can, if I you know, say, for example, I wanted to just do that. Now the problem is if you draw anywhere near that, 
you didn't do it that time, but if you draw anywhere near that lake, it automatically sometimes joins it to the nearest point. Okay, so just something to be wary of. But you can you can add sort of like I say a spike there, and then using the brown fill options, you might want to change the, you know, say hatch fill or something like that, and then do. Oh no, it's doing the last one. But you can you get what I mean. So using the attach tool, you attach lines to the. It will always do it to the nearest uh, point, basically on there, like so. 